it's Brianna again with Breeze Books. Uh, just so excited today because I get to do my very, very first book haul for you. And I didn't think I was going to be able to do one because I don't usually buy a lot of books until I've read them. But I decided to go with thrift store shopping. So yeah, I found some good deals and I'm going to show you. So here we go. Oh, one quick thing first though is that I wanted to update you on my immortal rules that I'm reading. I'm about two-thirds of the way through that much. So yeah, I'll be finishing this up soon and doing a review on it if you guys are interested in watching that. Alright, so let's get started with the book haul. First I have A Thousand Tomorrows by uh, Karen Kingsbury. Um, confession, I didn't actually get this for myself. I got it for my sister. So Grace, if you're watching, this is for you. But, uh, yeah, she really likes the Karen Kingsbury stories, and so I thought I'd pick this up for her. Next, I have, it's more of a comic book collection than a book book, but it's the Family Circus, um, collection. I really like these. They're just, like, one, one-shot kind of comics, and they're funny, and they're a family, and it's great. So that's that. Uh, next I have... TTYL by Lauren Miracle. I've always been curious about this series because uh, the book's entirely in instant messages and I thought that was pretty unique and different, really fun. So I've been curious about it, it was a really good deal, so I'm going to try this out and I'll let you guys know what I think. Um, next I got uh, Ink Spell, which is the sequel to Ink Heart by C Cornelia Funk. Uh, I thought I had the first one, but I don't, so... I need to pick that up and read that before I read this one, but I'm really interested in this series. I really love the movie. And I've been meaning to read Ink Heart for a long time now, and I just haven't. So I will let you know when I get through this. Next one I'm really excited about, it is The Miraculous Journey of Edward Tulane by Kate DeCam DeCam DeCamillo. <laughs> Hopefully that's sort of right. Um, I've just heard a lot of good things about this book in particular. Um, I've read some of her other uh, middle grade novels and I really like them, so I'm excited to see how this one turns out. Next one I got is Island of the Blue Dolphins by Scott O'Dell. I'm kind of embarrassed that I don't remember if I've read this or not, but it's really short, a uh, quick read. It won the John Newbery Medal, which is always good. Um, I know there's a sequel to this one too, but it sounded real interesting. I know I've heard about a lot about it before in my growing up school years, so um, I'm excited to give this a try. It should be really quick and fun, so I'm looking forward to it. The next one, I was amazed I found at a thrift store because I didn't think anybody would ever donate one of this book, but it is, drumroll please, The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. Yes, I found this at a thrift store for like two dollars, and I was shocked and amazed, and it's almost in perfect condition. Like, look at this. It's beautiful. And I haven't read this yet, so I'm really excited that I just gotta, like, pick it up and own it. Um, I'm kind of, uh, been hindering about reading this, though, because I've heard it's really sad, and I don't usually like sad books. I don't like sad endings, but everyone's been raving about it, so I figured I have to try it at least once, and then if I hate it, I can burn it or something, but I don't think I'll do that. I'll probably just donate it, like whoever donated this before me. But anyways, rant over, looking forward to reading this, and now I have it so I can read it whenever I want. Alright, next one. This is cool. This came out just like a couple years ago, and it's called The Weird Sisters, and it's by Eleanor Brown. And um, I thought it was cool because it's such great condition, such a newer book. So basically it's about this family that uh, love books, choose books over movies and TV, and um, as well as they get along with books, they have a hard time communicating with each other. There's three sisters, and um, it's kind of their struggle with their relationship and stuff. So I'm really uh, looking forward to reading this. It wasn't one I'd heard of before, so I thought it was kind of a different read, and I think it'll be good. So The Weird Sisters. It's pretty cool cool cover too, I thought. The House of Dark Shadows. I'm a little nervous about this. It's by Robert Liparulo. Liparulo, maybe? Um, basically, it seems kind of like a 
dreamy, suspensey, time travelly, maybe nightmarish, one of those categories, <laughs> type of a world book. Um, so it might be a little, little scary for me, a little dark, but I'm going to give it a try because it intrigued me, so I can always put it down and I'll let you guys know if I do, but I think it'll be a good one, and it's a nice hardback copy, and it was like a couple bucks, so really good deal. Uh, the next one I was really surprised to find in a thrift store as well, um, in such good condition, and that is What Happened to Goodbye by Sarah Dessen. Um, I have a bunch of her other books, still haven't read them, so I might just do a Sarah Dessen uh, bookathon thing, read through all of her books that I have, because I, I don't think I've read any of hers, and I have a whole bunch from now, so I'm gonna, gonna start reading some of these soon. But this was really a nice hardback copy, and it was one of her newer ones, so I was really excited to pick it up. The next group are all uh, more children's books. Oh, except for this one. have to do this one first. Um, I found this, kind of picked it up on a whim because it was like 50 cents. That is the best baby names book in the whole wild world. And no, before you ask, I'm not pregnant. But it, I've always been curious about kind of the origins of names and what baby names were popular. So I figured something to have around the house for when that time in my life does come up and then I'll have something to kind of flum through and pick out a name. So I thought it was a cool idea. Next stack are ones that I have um, that are, they're all children's books. And so I'm kind of nostalgic like that. When I see children's book, I kind of tend to buy a lot of those too and those are really cheap. First up is more of a middle grade. It is The Book of Fairy Princes by Isabel Wyatt. And this is a really old one, but it's kind of had that uh, fairy tale sounding quality. And the cover is like this beautiful watercolor type of a, a thing. So I thought it would be really interesting, really quick read for a, sort of a light fairy tale story. And I love fairy tales, so I was intrigued by that. And I will let you guys know when I think when I finish it. Um, the next is the Jim Cheecher from the Black Lagoon. Um, I didn't know about this children's series until one of my education classes in college I was read to me the original one, The Teacher from the Black Lagoon and ever since then I've just been picking up a different one of these every time I see them because I just love them very silly and fun and it's about um, the students of this school I don't know if it says in the back, I don't think it does the students of this school that always think one of the staff faculty members is a monster and then it says all the scary things about them and then they turned out at the end not to be all that scary they seem really nice and stuff so just a really fun uh, children's story I really like collecting these so something different something light and easy really fun illustrations and that's that the next two I have are uh, continuing a, another children's series that I have been collecting for a lot of years now and that is a couple more of the Berenstein Bears books um, nursery Tales and The Big Spelling Bee and these are by Stan and Jan Berenstein and I loved these growing up. These were some of my favorite books to read through. So many, There's so many of them in the series and they cover a wide variety of topics um, and I really love them so I found a couple more and I'm excited to go th read through those as well. The next one, second to last one, is Stella Luna by Janelle Cannon. And this was another one of my favorite uh, books when I was a kid. Beautiful illustrations about a baby bat and how she gets lost from her mother and kind of has to try and figure out her way in the world. And I just thought it was a beautiful book, beautiful story. And I'm really excited to pick this up because I did not have it yet. I love it. And finally, uh, the last book I did not get at the thrift store like all the other ones. But I did get at um, a bookstore next to my work uh, for 40% off. And I'm excited because this completes my collection, and that is another comic book collection. It is Homicidal Psycho Jungle Cat um, by Bill Watterson. And so this completes my collection for the Calvin and Hobbes comic book series. If you don't know what Calvin and Hobbes, uh, Hobbes is and you like comics, I strongly recommend um, checking this series out. It's super fun, hilarious story and drawings um, about a boy and his stuffed tiger and their adventures and it's super funny I love it and 
I can't wait to finish this collection because now it is complete. All right, so that is my book haul, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, remember, if you like my videos in the slightest, um, please don't hesitate to put a thumbs up or subscribe if you want to. I would really appreciate it. Um, I just want to keep the booktube community going. So if you have um, a book channel you would like to share with me, I would be um, I would love to look into that and watch any videos you have. Also, I would love to hear in the comments below any ideas you have for any future videos of mine, that you, anything you'd like to see from me, or any um, other booktube issue videos um, you think I might enjoy. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and we'll see you next time. Read more books!